Are you talking to me about my credit because I'm black and you're white? Hey y'all, happy Friday. Welcome back to another vlog. Oh, I just got off work. I'm headed to run some errands for Bay, And by Bay, I mean my mother. Um, I was gonna get cute and try to go like to happy hour by myself. But I'm just not really feeling it. Like the weather is gloomy. I probably need to save that money. And yeah, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to pick up um let me get going because how long does my neck better come out? And I just don't feel like speaking. I know the star room, but I just do not feel like talking today. So anyway, we'll drive and talk. So I'm trying to decide if I want to pick up some wine or if I want to drink some liquor tonight. I think I want to get some wine. Coming to America came out tonight. Well, it came out today. Technically, it came out, I guess, at midnight because some people have already seen it. But that's on my to do list is to watch Coming to America tonight. I need to do some stuff for YouTube tonight. So it's going to be a chill night. So I think I'm just going to pick me up something to eat, go back to the house, pour up, maybe make a reel for Instagram, and just chill. Um,. But I just want to hop on to say happy Friday and welcome to another weekend vlog. Oh, I probably should not have came this way. Okay, y'all. So, I'm leaving the bank. I went to the bank to set up um, a savings account, a joint savings account for me and my mother. The lady at the bank was asking all of these I felt like they were unimportant questions. At first, I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. And I was like, maybe these are standard questions they ask. You know, like, why are you wanting to start a savings account? Um, do you have a checking account anywhere else? Like, that's standard. Okay, cool. Then she proceeds to say, um, what is your credit history looking like? Ma'am, what does my credit history have to do with opening a savings account? So then she proceeds to say, um, because I was going to just let you know, like, people are always afraid to go on Credit Karma and things like that, but I was going to tell you to go ahead and download the app and um, stay on top of your credit. And I'm sitting there like, first of all, I have Credit Karma on my phone. I also have Experian. Are you talking to me about my credit because I'm black and you're white? Or are you talking to me about my credit because you're trying to sell me a product that Regents owns? Or are you really being concerned because you're an older white woman and I'm a young black woman and so you're really legitimately concerned? So I'm sitting here trying not to get mad, right? So I tell her, I was like, oh, well, I have Credit Karma on my phone. So then, um, she was like, oh, okay, we'll pull up the app. Now, mind you, I'm thinking that personal finances, even though she's a banker and I'm setting up an account at her bank, I'm thinking, like, my credit history, like, that should be private. So I pull up the app, and I proceed to just turn the phone to her like this to show her my scores. She says, oh, let me see your phone. Why? Why do you need to see my phone, ma'am? So, before I can ask why, she takes my phone out of my hand and she begins to scroll on my app and proceeds to look at my credit history. She then um, says, oh, okay, okay, I see this, I see that, I see this, I see that. Then she says, um, well, you know, payment history is very important. I said, ma'am, I pay all of my bills on time. She was like, oh, okay, I just wanted to let you know that. You know, sometimes they say that things are due by the 15th, but that as long as it's paid by the 30th, it doesn't show up on your credit card. I said, ma'am, I pay all of my bills on time. She was like, okay, okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. But what lines of credit do you have open? Ma'am, you, you're sitting there with my phone. You can see what I have open. 
this is what really pissed me off and I felt like maybe she was talking to me as a white woman to a black woman she proceeds to say well you can use your tax money um, and pay down some of your debt first of all ma'am my tax money and what I decide to do with my tax money is none of your business second of all how do you even know I get a refund? You don't you don't know my income. You don't know what um what dependents I have. You don't know about me and my finances. So how are you gonna tell me how to use my um my refund check? Like it really pissed me off. Then she proceeds to say, I said, Well, ma'am, um, I said if I get a refund check because I'm single, I have no kids. So I might not even get a refund check. She was like, oh, 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 you don't have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. Like, it, it just really pissed me off. I really wanted to leave, but this is something that, that I was doing for, at my mother's request. So I sat there, but I really wanted to leave. And so then she asked, well, are you going to, now we need to put some money into the account. Will you be doing that by cash or check today? And I said, um, cash. And she says, okay, well, how much? So I tell her the amount. She was like, oh, wow. Yes, like, I got money. Then she um, she was like, oh, well, I can't take the money here. You'll have to go to the counter. Well, if you can't take my money, why? I'm sorry if I curse them because I know my mama going to watch this. I'm so sorry. But if you can't take my money, why do you need to know how much I'm depositing today? All you needed to say was, well, now it's time to make a deposit into your account. I can't take cash here, so if you have cash, you need to go to the counter. Like, I just felt like she was too nosy. She imposed too much. And then she was like, here's my business card. I'm really good at credit stuff, so if you need to call me in the future, just let me know. I'm really good, and I'm especially good on you. So, y'all, I just had to tell y'all that because... People be out here really trying you. Like, they either try you because of your age sometimes. They try you because of the color of your skin. They try you because of your gender. They try you because of your, um, for some people I know they get tried because of their height. Like, people really be out here trying you. And I need her to know that I am not the one to be tried. If you know me, you know, like, I'm very, like, mild-mannered and passive like well maybe she didn't mean that no she was very passive aggressive and i'm not gonna call her racist because i don't really throw that word around i'm not gonna call her racist but she was very passive aggressive and i felt like she was very um what's the word when you like look down on people put it in the comments and let me know but like i didn't appreciate that at all i didn't appreciate it and if it wasn't for my mom she would not have gotten my account or my money today. So that's all on that. I just wanted to let y'all know about my experience at the bank. week are you ready are you ready one two three <laughs> I got my camera it's the Canon EOS M50 so yeah sorry somebody write me okay so let's unbox it. So I've already charged the battery. So it comes with the battery. Let me tell y'all what it comes with. It comes with the digital camera, the EOS M50 Mark II, 
a zoom lens m15 to 45 milliliter f-stop 3.5 to 6.3 a strap a battery charger and a battery pack so i've already charged the battery and you just You push in, pull out. So it slides in this way. It slides in. I'm about to tear it up for one second. Okay. So it has an arrow on there. Can you see that arrow? And then it has an arrow on here. And then you just slide the two arrows in. Slide in to put it in, and then you hit it to pull it out. Okay, you got that. Then, it comes with your warranty papers. Um, I guess this is an app, image.canon. Image I don't know what's wrong with my speech today. It says Google Photos, Google Drive, Adobe Creative Cloud. So I have to download this and see what it's about. I'm assuming this is that app that people, you can see yourself when you're filming. And also you can edit your, your pictures on it. And then it comes with a manual that I probably definitely actually will read through. And then... It comes with a product registration. This is the strap. Let's open it up. Ooh. Ah. But you put it out like that, like that, like that. Ooh. Ah. Okay. And this is the camera. Honestly, I'm kind of having some regrets. I kind of wanted the white one, but I got the black one because I figured, like, in terms of lenses, it would make more sense to get the black one. So I got the black one. But I kind of really wanted the white one. But this is the camera, Canon EOS M50 Mark II, and it has the shoe mount at the top for your audio or your flash photography or whatever you want to put at the top. And this is the lens. Fifteen to forty-five, and is that gonna focus? I don't know, but this is the eye of it. Oh crap! I didn't made it dark. Sorry, go away. Okay, that's the eye. I did not mean to do that. Okay, and then you screw this off. And you screw and you screw this into place. Boom. Now let me read this to make sure that I think I can just start it. Let's see. Instructions. I had to grab a memory card. So this is the memory card that I have. It's the SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte. So let's open this up.
So I thought I recorded the same clip at the same time on both the iPhone and the M50, but I did not. But as you can see, the iPhone footage is on the right, the M50 footage is on the left. I hope that's how it shows on the screen. Comment down below your thoughts. Let's test the focus. Boop. Okay. All right, so let's go. I got this on a mount, a tripod, y'all, and I'm kind of nervous. So. Let's walk around on y'all. Excuse my house because I really do need to clean up. So, I'm gonna sit y'all down. Can y'all see me? Okay. I know this is an awkward viewpoint. But you saw in Target, we picked up the McBride Sisters Red Blend. So let me grab a glass. Hold on, my phone ringing. Hello. Shut up. to America maybe a six out of ten I'm gonna give it a six it wasn't that bad but it wasn't that good either and I definitely fell asleep on part of it so but you should still watch it for yourself comment down below if you've seen it and tell me your thoughts I'm about to head to bed because I have to work in the morning so I will catch y'all tomorrow we have a busy day tomorrow I hope y'all are ready Can y'all take a guess where I got something to eat from? If you had to take a wild guess, what would you say? I'm gonna give you a minute. If you said Chick-fil-A, you will be correct. Yeah, I have been obsessed with Chick-fil-A since um, probably like my freshman year in college before then but like college really set it off like I'm so obsessed I really want to get a franchise so if you ever see me being the owner and operator of Chick-fil-A just know you heard it here first I got the grill club with Kobe Jack And I'm about to smash because I'm so hungry. The only thing I don't like about Chick-fil-A, and I probably shouldn't put this on here. Because I don't want this to um, hold me back from getting my franchise. But it only fills me up for about an hour. Like, I don't really be full. Like, you know how you can go to some places and you can eat. And you might not even have to eat again. Oh, no, baby. With Chick Fil A, I'm gonna be eating again. Until then, I'll enjoy this. I just love Chick Fil A. 
So I'm gonna eat, then we're gonna go get some gas, and then we are going to go. I still wanna go to the nursery. So that'll probably be my first stop because I'm assuming that they'll probably close early. They probably don't have regular hours. We'll go to Home Goods and then we're gonna go home. I still didn't watch Wait and Take Tell. I want to see Billie Holiday versus the United States. So I'm probably just gonna chill today. I thought about crashing somebody's party, but. I ain't even really in the crashing of parties mood. So I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Y'all, my fries are not crispy. I'm gonna go to Home Goods. Maybe Burlington. Do y'all shop in Burlington? I know. The last time I went to Burlington, it was really nothing in there. But it's like some YouTubers that I follow. And they always find something in Burlington. But I never get lucky. So. We'll see. I know y'all don't want to see me eat. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, so I'm leaving out of Home Goods. I don't even know if you can see me. Home Goods was not a good trip. I mean, I saw some things, but it's nothing that like I just had to have. to be a plant mom or dad you should really check out call your nursery call your nursery i did the name they were so nice so helpful so efficient i was in there i told them my requirements in out boom bam so when i show you guys my plant i'll put their information um on the screen and in the description box in the event that you are interested and getting you a plant so i'm getting ready to go through this neighborhood i love driving through like subdivisions just to like look and so there's a new subdivision that i passed and i'm gonna go take a look because you never know when you're in the market you know so off the gate dope i really hope that they have a model home If not, Jock, if you're watching this, I need to get inside one of these homes. Oh, this one is just listed. I'm gonna have to look it up on Realtor. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. with the 
white brick. Ignore my um my shattered windshield. Nice, y'all missed it. These homes are so nice. The only thing I don't like about them is, of course, that they're right next to the neighbors and they have those little bitty driveways. That's really why I want to move to a neighborhood where, like, I'm not really close to my neighbors. And that has um, a little bit of land. But I'm going to swoon back around so I can get the address. Okay, cool. She don't want to go. So I'm just going to... Can y'all see that? I'm going to swing back around and get the other address so we can look at... Look up the house. still building so I'm guessing this is they don't have a mailbox Hey y'all, back home. Look what I got. <laughs> I'm a plant mom. So, this is a snake plant. I forgot the name that she actually told me. Like the scientific name that she actually told me. But it's a snake plant. When I went in, I said I want something that's good with darkness. Or doesn't have to have a lot of light that's independent that if i forget about it she'll be okay and they said that this is the best thing so what should i name her you guys or should it be a him comment down below if it should be a girl or a guy and comment down below the name that you want it to have i think i want it to be a guy a boy um i'm gonna make a drink Sorry, let me wash my hands and we got my picture. Okay, the other day, well, it wasn't like immediately the other day, but when I went to the ABC store, they had this gift set for Maker's Mark and it came with a recipe for Makey Maker's Maker Shaker Whiskey Sour. It came with a shaker maker's mark and this recipe so there's the recipe can you see that so babe oh that's not even the right side this is the recipe sorry so basically the ingredients are two parts maker's mark three-fourths part fresh grease squeezed lemon juice half part simple syrup and half of a teaspoon of quality jam Sorry, y'all. My light be doing the most in the back. That's so good. Enough. Okay, y'all. I know it's dark. But. We're going to have to make it do what it do. Okay, so it came with this shaker. Oh, I got my makers. I got my whiskey glass. 
Um, the jam that I'm going to be using is this um, Fig Preserve. I had a charcuterie board and I have some of this left over. So that's the jam I'm going to be using. Like I said, I don't have simple syrup. I don't have simple syrup, but I got some honey. And here's my lemon. And some honey. Okay, it says, add the Maker's Mark bourbon. So it calls for two parts Maker's. I don't really know what two parts is. So I'm just gonna do two shots. Now for those of you who really know about alcohol, y'all let me know in the comments what two parts is. So there's one shot. There's one shot. I'm gonna do one and a half of a shot. So that's my two parts bourbon. Oh, what the hell? Where I'm going? I can do two shots. So this, this is the second half. Okay, two parts bourbon. Three fourths parts of a squeezed lemon. I don't know what three fourths part is. But. We just gonna squeeze some in here. Y'all see? We just gonna squeeze some in here. That's probably enough. Then it says a half a part of simple syrup. I'm just gonna eyeball the honey. That's probably good on the honey. And then one teaspoon of high quality jam. I know I have a teaspoon. Okay, oh, here we go. One teaspoon of high quality jam. Stir this up, even though it didn't tell you to stir it up. I'm gonna stir it up. And then, am I missing the ingredient? Jam, whiskey, simple syrup, lemon juice. Nope. some ice in here. Gonna give me an ice cube. I have this little tray, this mold tray for ice cubes. So 
So I'm gonna put an ice cube in the tray. I mean, in the cup. Can you see that? All right, let's pour our drink. It's coming out the side. One second. I'm sure that's not how they do it in restaurants. Okay, let's do a taste test. Cheers. That's really good. That's really good. Hey friends, happy Sunday. Um, just got out the shower, just got finished watching church. Now I'm about to make me something to eat. On today's menu is pancakes, bacon, and eggs. This is my last day of eating carbs because tomorrow I start what's called 75 hard. I will explain that in a second, but before we get to that, let's get to the food.
Then Pancake sent me right to sleep. I've been on my couch for like the last hour. I'm trying to see if I want to get up and go to the grocery store. It's not really necessary, but I should go ahead and knock it out. I want to watch the Meghan Markle and Harry, Prince Harry interview with Oprah. That comes on at 7. It's 4.18, so I got time if I get on up. So I guess I need to make me a list and get some moving. I can't believe them pancakes did me like that. Mm, mm, mm. I got everything I needed from Publix, so now let's go check out. I'm just getting back from the grocery store. Um, I'm going to put my groceries up. I'm probably going to clean out the fridge, wash some dishes, and then I'm going to chill until, well, I don't really have that much time to chill. By the time I do that, it's going to be time to watch Prince Harry and uh, Megan with Oprah. Oh, child. So I just finished the um, interview with Megan, Harry, and Oprah. Y'all, my heart, like, I'm heartbroken and sad and my mind is, like, oh, it's just, if you didn't get a chance to see it, try to find it on YouTube or maybe it'll be on demand or something, but I'm truly sad for Megan and Harry and their family, like. It's truly sad. I won't ruin it in case you plan on watching it and you haven't seen it before you've seen this vlog, but I'm really sad. <laughs> so I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for spending the weekend with me as always. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this content, please leave me a thumbs up down below as well as a subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Always leave a comment down in the comments. It makes me feel so good. And I love chatting with you guys down there. So, um, until next time, good night. Well, bye. <laughs>